Hello students of standard 10th. Welcome to the e-learning classes of DAV Moy Public School. Subject Agriculture. Our today's topic is Seed Development. Seed Development. After fertilization, development of fertilized oval into a mature seed involves several different stages. Seed formation begins with the minute embryo sac with certain exceptions which is about the same in shape, size and arrangement. In spite of initial similarities, the seed develops according to the genetic specifications for each species, which are coded in nucleus, that is chromosomes of each cell. Now the question arises, what is variety? Variety is the group of plants which have similar morphology, characteristics and belongs to same genus and species. What is mean by hybrid? Hybrid is the product of two similar parents or lines of this similar genotype in order to combine desirable characters from both the parents. In breeds, it is plant type in cross-pollinated crops which is produced through continuous self-pollination process which is further used as parental line for hybrid formation. Stages of Seed Multiplication after the development and release of plant variety, the initial amount of pure seeds which is limited should be multiplied through scientifically method under different stages and these stages are called classes of seed multiplication. The following four different classes are used for multiplication of newly released varieties that is nucleus seed, breed seeds, foundation seeds, and certified seeds. Look at the given image which shows different classes in seed multiplication chain that is seed undergo nucleus seed after that breed seed and after that foundation seed and the last one is certified seeds. Some of the points to be remembered that cross pollinated crops require more isolation distance for seed production than self pollinated crops. Just like that, bisexual flower is also known as hermaphrodite flower. Certified seed should not be used for further multiplications in seed multiplication chain. Also, we need to remember that certified seed is used for commercial plant production. First one is nucleus seed. It is the initial amount of pure seed of an improved variety available with plant breed who has developed it. The nucleus seed is 100% pure genetically as well as physically as it is in very limited quantity. Next one is breed seed. It is the seed obtained from the progeny of nucleus seed and produced by the breed who developed the new variety. Its genetic and physical purity should be 100% and tag color for breeder seed is golden yellow color. Next one is foundation seed. It is seed which is obtained from breeder seed. It is produced on seed multiplication for a stage of a state government or agricultural university. Foundation seed plots are suspected or inspected by the SCA that is Seed Certification Agency. It is not as pure as the nucleus and breeder seeds and the bag are sealed with white colored label. And the last one is Certified Seeds. It is progeny of foundation classes of seeds and produced under direct supervision of State Seed Certification Agency. The certified seeds bags are scaled with blue color tag and certified seed is finally distributed to the farmer for crop production. Now we are going to discuss about differences between certified seed and truthful label seeds. Certified seeds. It is the progeny of foundation seed class and produced under direct inspection of state seed certification agency on farmer's field. The tag color for certified seed is blue color and it is distributed to the farmer for crop production. On the other hand, truthful label seeds that is TLS 
it is the category of seed produced or produ produced by cultivators private seed companies and is solid under truthful labels but field standard and seed standard should be maintained as per seed act and indian minimum seed certification standards for the tls the seed producers and the seed sellers are responsible for the quality attributes requirements of certified seed production sources of seed appropriate proper class of seed needs to be obtained from approved sources according to stage of seed multiplication in case of foundation seed breeder seed with yellow color tag is to be used for sowing while for certified seed production foundation seed with white tag is to be obtained land requirement the land selected for seed production should be suitable for that crop it should be fertile free from soil borne disease and insect pest free from weed seeds and water logged soil should not be selected for seed production as far as possible the land selected for seed production should not have same crop grow in the proceeding season next one is isolation requirement the seed crop must be isolated from other nearby fields on the same crop and the other containing crops as per requirement of the certification standards isolation of seed plot can be maintained by two ways that is time isolation in case of time isolation sowing of seed plot is adjusted in such a manner that the seed plot does not come to flowering at the same time with the neighboring crop of same variety and the next one is space isolation space isolation is the minimum distance kept between the seed plot and neighboring plot of same crop which prevents natural cross pollination and physical contamination and the next one is roughing roughing is the removal of individual plant which differs significantly from the normal type of the varieties field inspections as per provision of seed certification the seed plot offered for certification are adjusted to field inspection by the staff of seed certification agency it is responsible of the seed producers to follow the instructions given by the field inspector next one is harvesting and threshing seed plot should be harvested at proper stage of maturity and after harvesting the crop it should be brought to threshing yard for threshing or separation of seeds from plant part next one is drying the initial moisture content of freshly harvested seed is usually high and its range is between 15 to 25% it is therefore necessary to dry the seed to bring it moisture content to safe level of 12% or less so that it can be stored for long duration bagging and tagging the seed lot is passed by certified seed certification agency on the basis of seed testing laboratory report that is stl the processed and treated seed is bagged and tagged with appropriate tags issued by seed certification officer now what is mean by seed testing laboratories the seed testing laboratories is the hub of seed quality control in seed testing laboratories seed quality attributes are evaluated every state in india has a seed testing laboratory terminology pure line variety it is a variety which consists the progeny of single self fertilized homozygous plant all plants with a pure line variety has same genotype as the plant from which the pure lines are derived the phenotypic differences within a pure line is environmental and therefore non herbitable the pure line becomes genetically variable with time due to mechanical mixture mutation etc next one is synthetic variety a variety which is produced by crossing in all combinations a number of inbred lines that combines well with each other once synthesized a synthetic is maintained by open pollination in isolation is referred as synthetic variety 
and the last one is composite variety mixing the seed of several phenotypically outstanding lines produced a composite variety and encouraging open pollination to produce crosses in all combinations among the mixed lines the lines used to produce a composite variety are rarely tested for combining ability with each other like synthetic now it's time to check your knowledge about today's topic here are some questions as your assignment i hope you understand today's topic we again meet with new video till then stay at home be safe be happy